So uh, I introduce my homeboy Kyle Lucas. Um, anybody know who his boy is about Cass? Anybody? He has a label called Purple Ribbon. He signed the Purple Ribbon as band. Um, Bound to get really dope band. Does some dope stuff. So I know a lot of you guys have questions. But first, let me say a few things. Um, you know, just tell them about like how you got started. Um, what you've been doing recently? Mixtape, the album, the tours, all that stuff. What's up, everybody? Uh, my name's Kyle Lucas, and I'm in the band Vonnegut. And, uh, last year, we signed a record deal with Big Boy of Outkast. Like, nobody famous said. Yep. Did anybody know that Yeah, no, Okay. And, um, and I guess started, I, I grew up rapping. Um, at third grade, I started rapping. I turned my bedroom into a studio, and I started rapping, literally pursuing a record deal since I was 15. And uh, then I was like, you know, hitting all the walls of getting a record deal, I was like, man, I need to start a band. I need to rap in a band. Because, like, I love Jim Class Heroes. I love The Roots. And I listen to a lot of pop punk uh, on top of, you know, rappers and stuff. And uh, did that. And then, you know, Big Boy gave us a record deal before we even did a show. So, uh, what else you want? Any questions or anything? What do you guys think? Like, what do you think about hip hop when you were growing up and how it is now? Well, I was, like, pretty. I was one of those kids that, like, when I was younger, I thought, like, this is what real hip-hop is, and this is, you know, what it should be, and this is, like, you know, that was when Nelly and Ja Rule were, uh, that's, nowadays, I think that is, like, compared to what the radio is now, like, Nelly and Ja Rule are, like, the best compared to some of the stuff that's on the radio now, but I think there's a place for everything, there really is a place for everything, um, all types of music, I don't think there is a type of hip-hop, you know, because even Rakim was talking about my doll chain, you know, so that was, like, an 88, so... I don't think I don't think anything has really changed. I think the kids, the kids are you know the youth. You guys are you guys make it. So whatever whatever you guys want to say is hip hop. That is hip hop to be per personally honest. That's what I feel. Oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> two, 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 three, 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 two, and the funny thing is, people told me, once you, the easiest thing is getting a record deal. That's the ironic part. Because once you're in the industry, now you're competing about with everybody that's good, just as good as you. Just, you know, better managers, the budget behind you. Like, if you have a major deal that has the whole marketing team staff behind you. So it's almost like going from the minors to the pros. Like, you get to a point where you're playing in Little League, everyone's, everyone's doing Because everyone raps and everyone does music. Everyone you know, you probably is raps and stuff and then once you start weeding out okay you keep doing you get fans you start doing shows then you get a manager and things start building then you get to like the next level and then the next level and then once you get a record deal now like everybody has a record deal that I deal with everyone does and now we're competing with a whole different other problems like there's a whole a floodgate of other problems and stresses and you know personal life I don't have a personal life anymore so like uh, I'm barely ever here I never sleep and on top of that, now we have to cater to other opinions. So it's not like, like people think you just get a record deal, you do the album and it comes out. And that is like the biggest misconception because there's so much red tape. Like we just released an EP, we've been signed for a year. The amount of red tape we had to go to release a four song EP was the most stressful thing I've ever been through. Because now you have investors and now you have, now you have to, on creatively, like creatively it can be just me and my band and the producer. Or, you know, if I'm doing a mixtape, me and the producer or MC or engineer, and I am and I can do that, and that's exactly how we feel in a room. But now we have to get the approval of everybody who's paying your bills. And that is not the easiest thing to do. We got time for one more question, because you guys are going to get on the bus. Yeah, you're ready to go. Yeah, well, I definitely, you know, it gets, it gets frustrating just because... You know, I, I'm a very like introspective artist, and everything on our band is all real stories, and it's exactly like personal stuff. So, yeah, I mean, it is and, like I could play it for someone, and they'd be like, "Yeah, it's okay," but it's like, man, I just lived this whole horrible experience and turned it into a song, and they just kind of like write it off. So, yeah, it does get frustrating, um, but you know, Big Boy is is like the best CEO because we, because he comes from an artist standpoint, so he's not just uh, like when we did the whole album without his help, like he just signed us. Know, checks were cut and then we brought him out and done because he doesn't want to be over he's not the type of artist that's just gonna be or the boss is gonna be over your shoulder you know we turned in the whole album completely so he, he was real cool because he comes from an artist standpoint where he's, he's for since he was 18 he's been dealing with major labels and stuff so he knows you know 
more frustrations. And I would just say my only advice is to just stay as humble as possible because like as soon, I've seen my peers who have gotten deals and gotten all this money and completely changed. Just stay as humble as possible. And if you have legends around you or if you, like I seek out just advice. Like I went to Tree Sound last night, uh, it's a studio and uh, my friend Donis was recording, but like there's some legends that just work out of there. And I was just like, just, you know, what am I doing? Am I doing something wrong? Or You just gotta stay as humble as possible because you may think you are the best, but you're not. I mean, that's just the hardest truth. And if, you, if you can come to grasp that you aren't the best and I can get better, then the whole world is, is open. Because then you can change, and then you can keep. But if you go into there thinking you're the best, you won't, you won't even last. If nobody can tell you anything, then it's kind of tough. But I would just say, like, learn, you know, from Nobody Famous. He's, he's, you know, all, he gave me two tracks, and then stay as humble and stay connected to the people that look out for you. Yeah. So. Good advice. There you go. You guys give a hand.